Good day, everybody. Um, today, I'm going to discuss a little bit about organic acid combinations with uh, HMTBA and as it is applied in pathogen control for poultry and swine. My name is uh, Dexter Abrigo. I'm a uh, veterinarian uh, based in Bangkok. Now today, most of our producers are really concerned about two things, which is food security and food safety. Now, when it comes to food security, we all know that, you know, African swine fever and even influenza has been devastating the pig and poultry industry in, in Southeast Asia and Pacific. Um, as a matter of fact, um, in, in Indonesia, I mean, in Philippines and in Vietnam and even in China, where they are able to control ASF, but it's still uh, ravaging some of the countries like Philippines and, and Vietnam. Even influenza is uh, something that we have been experiencing uh, for a long time, even with vaccines, and especially in Indonesia, where it's a poultry producing country, it's actually uh, a, a, a threat to food security. Now, when it comes to food safety, uh, we're more concerned about salmonella uh, mainly and campylobacter. Uh, campylobacter and salmonella, these two are very important foodborne pathogens, um, especially for a broiler exporting uh, country like Thailand. All right, so people are concerned about food safety. And all of this is uh, also affected by the increasing awareness of antimicrobial resistance. And this has led our producers to reduce the use of antibiotics or completely remove it from their production systems just like what is happening in Indonesia. And of course, we should not forget uh, what COVID-19 is actually, uh, how, how it is affecting the, the market as of today. Now, because of this market drivers and trends, you know, there's an increasing importance of using organic assets. And it seems like the go-to additive uh, organic acid has become a go-to additive, especially when producers are trying to reduce antibiotic use in animals. And this has led to a lot of organic acids, either in singles or in combinations, uh, and that they are present in the market. Now, why HMTBA? Why is HMTBA such an important organic acid? Now we all know that HMTBA or 2-hydroxymethyltyobutanoic acid, it's a naturally occurring methionine precursor. It is an organic acid, but it's chemically different from other DL methionine products. Now this difference actually is because of the hydroxyl group, and this also allows it to be an organic acid. And this also allows HMTBA to be more bioavailable when animals are under challenge conditions. Okay. Now, because HMTBA is an organic acid, it definitely has an antimicrobial activity. And uh, as compared to DL meth, which has no antimicrobial activity. And um, when we look at how we choose our organic acids, right? We look at probably the if the organic acid is lipophilic or hydrophilic. We look at the uh, molecular weight, and we also look at the H plus uh, ratio. Now, these three parameters are important um, because this will dictate the efficacy of the organic acid, not only on the PKA, but also these three other factors. Like for example, if you see formic formic acid here. See formic acid here, which is a very low, uh, very small particles and con can contribute a lot of H plus ions. That's why it's basically being used in a lot of, of organic acid combinations. But if you can see here, it's hydrophilic, right? So it's water loving. When you look at the HMTBA, although it has a big molecular weight, but it is lipophilic. So what happens is that if it's lipophilic, so it's more attracted to, to fat. So like for cell walls and, and some other stuff, proteins, um, it is attracted to it. So it makes it easy for them to penetrate. 
but because of the big size, you know, it takes time for it to, to go inside the cell, not like in formic acid, where in, you know, it's small particles, it can, can go easily through the cell wall, uh, through some transport systems. But if you combine these two, you can see here, if based on the reduction of salmonella, a combination of both, uh, let's say with HMTBA and formic acid will actually increase the, the strength of the effect of these two organic acids. And this is shown by the, this trial done in our laboratory, wherein when we combined uh, formic acid and HMTBA together, you can see that it is more powerful and has a synergistic effect against salmonella. And this is comparing it with formic acid or 100% HMTBA. Now, this is, can also be seen in this uh, trial done again in our laboratory, wherein we have compared HMTBA, uh, butyric, lactic, and then a blend, two blends containing, both containing HMTBA. And you can see here that HMTBA actually, uh, in combination with other organic acid, gave an additive effect compared to individual acids, making it more effective in reducing salmonella. Another thing is that HMTBA, because it's a precursor of, of um, methionine, it actually strengthens the antioxidative effect or the detoxification process or overall defense mechanism in the animal. So this is by using a transsulfuration pathway, which is irreversible. So in 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 uh, in practice, methionine can actually supply the entire requirements in cysteine, um, and and the but the cysteine addition could contribute to its own requirement, but not to the specific methionine requirement, right? And cysteine actually is catabolized into taurine and incorporated into glutathione, and these two. Uh, are, are very important because it acts as antioxidants inside the animal's body. So it helps the animal's defense system and producing glutathione disulfide. So when you have, when it, if it supports the animal's defense system, it helps in uh, eradicating the free radicals or toxins, or at least it slows down the oxidation or the oxidative stress that is being felt by the animal. Now, if you look at uh, the use of the organic acids and pathogen control, uh, organic acid plus HMTBA combination in poultry, uh, most of our producers, like for example, in Southeast Asia and Pacific, they actually look at the pH. Um, what we have here is a table uh, comparing, you know, uh, an organic acid and HMTBA blend in water um, to lower down the pH to a level of about of pH 3 or 4, so to, to uh, exhibit an optimal antibacterial sanitizing effect. It is compared with the buffer blend uh, with formic acid here, right? And then also with sulfuric acid. You can see that uh, um, the, the combination of organic acid with HMTBA actually is a bit better than this buffer blend and slightly uh, lower than the formic acid. Uh, when it comes to lowering down the pH. Now, in order for us to to prove this in 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 our in our region, we did um, do a trial in the lab first to compare the organic acid plus HMTBA uh, blend with other commercially available products in the market of different uh, organic acid blends, and we looked at how it can lower down the pH and at what dose. So you can see here that uh, the product or the organic acid with HMTBA blend uh, shows that the this product can actually reduce the pH at a lower dose as compared to the other commercially available organic acid blends. And we did another one wherein we collected water samples in different uh, countries like Indonesia, Vietnam, and Philippines. Um, you can see here that the uh, organic acid uh, plus HMTBA blend can lower down the pH 
more effectively than the com the other commercially available uh, blends in the market and again at a lower dose. Now this is important because producers can now look at this product and use it to lower down pH at a lower cost because of the lower dose. And um, if you look at how this combination reduces salmonella, um, again, we compare it with uh, three other commercially available or organic blends in the market and also with formic acid at 85%. You can see that with increasing dosage of the organic plus HMTBA combination, uh, it's actually more effective as compared to the other combinations of acids that are present in the market. And when we come to swine, um, we all know that in swine currently, uh, ASF or African swine fever is a very big concern. So what we did, um, we looked at uh, some of the studies done um, like in Trudeau, where in uh, the HMTBA plus organic acid combination <clears throat> was uh, more effective in reducing virus con concentration as, as shown in this table. Another trial was done in the US again, this time uh, looking at the effectivity of this blend versus different uh, viruses that are affecting swine. And you can see here that against most of these fires, especially with PED, it was able to reduce um, the logs from 3.5 to 1.9. So it seems that it is, it is effective in controlling or at least mitigating, reducing the viral load in feeds. Now for us to, to prove this, um, we did a trial in Vietnam um, and wherein we had some uh, feed samples, we infected it with ASF virus that was isolated in Vietnam, and we treated it with the organic acid plus HMTBA blend with 0.2% and 0.5% dose. We incubated it and we tested it. Now, in order to uh, look at it, we used the PCR test for viral gene copies and HAD assay for infectivity of the, the virus, to measure the infectivity of the virus. And the results shows for the PCR that the organic acid plus HMTBA blend showed uh, increased activity, significant activity against the virus in feed uh, because it shows that it has a higher CT uh, the values. And this is correlated by increasing the dose. So if you have a higher dose, let's say for example, this is two and, and two kgs and five kgs of dose in the feed, it will give you a prompt virus activity against the virus at least in feed at, least at day one. And if you look at it at day seven, um, the, the, the combination of the organic acid plus the blend, HMTBA blend, had higher CT values indicating uh, probably a negative for ASF. Now, when you look at the other test, it shows the same with the HAD50. Um, you can see that the there's a decrease in the activity of the virus in feed based on this trial. And the again, the increasing dose of the, the blend from two to five kg showed the faster reaction in feed. Uh, there's a more than 99% reduction in, in, in day one. And at five for five kg, it can put, completely removes or at least reduce to a significant level the viral activity of the virus in the feed within three days. Now, we shouldn't forget about water um, because some of the viruses, um, probably even uh, African swine fever viruses, transfer to the water. And we again, the increasing concentration showed that um, the organic acid plus HMTBA blend can in fact uh, control the, the virus presence in the water were uh, after about 30 minutes. Okay. So it, it can inactivate uh, the virus in water, but there's a time required uh, to completely mitigate the virus. So this was done with the fluorescent test. So you can see here that this is uh, four plus, two plus, plus, and this is negative wherein you don't see any green luminescence in, in, in the agar. So this is what we have at 30 minutes forward at 0.15% concentration. 
Uh, the key take home messages for this talk or the short talk is that HMPBA is good to mix with other organic acid because it strengthens and enhances the effect. There's a synergistic effect. And at the same time, you will get a lower dose if you want to lower down the pH more effectively with this organic acid plus HMTBA combination. And aside from that, um, HMTBA, as it is a precursor for methionine, it can support um, animals during stress. And this will enable the animal to actually at least improve the performance when it is under challenge conditions. Um, we also found out that uh, HMTBA with organic acid combinations can control important pathogens affecting both poultry and swine, either in feed or in water. So thank you very much for listening to my talk, and I hope everybody will be safe, and I hope we can meet sometime soon in the next uh, conference.